Hi, uh, Miguel with Adorama Rental Company. We're here with Dennis Wood from uh, Cinevate. We're very excited because we're about to start carrying their line of uh, sliders and he's here to tell us all about them. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming by and uh, we're looking forward to uh, setting you up with some sliders. Uh, my understanding is that you uh, explained a little earlier that you guys do a, kind of a full range of cameras from Alexa down to DSLR. And the good news is that we have about five or six models and they sort of cover a full range. So we can start, um, maybe we'll start with the baby, the one that you would fly with or use with a DSLR, and we'll move our way up to the one that you know people are using RAD and Alexa on. Perfect, let's go. This is uh, oddly one of the newest, but it's also the smallest. And I think a lot of our customers were looking for something that was light, that was strong, that could center mount on a tripod, and didn't have to be supported at two ends, and uh, would carry a decent weight. So here we've got uh, one of the, uh, I believe it's the 501, 502, yes, um, head, which is kind of nice, got a flat base, but and a, and a DSLR w with a, um, a Zeiss CP.2 on there. So. This will this will carry uh, this load quite comfortably. Um, really, the, the bigger the head and the more stable the head you have down here, the better because you're going to load it up as you go back and forth. But this would be quite comfortable carrying a load of up to 20 pounds. Um, it's it's all fully bearing, stainless, uh, chrome steel, nothing rusts. Uh, it's really designed to be a reliable um, kind of a lifetime piece. So. Um, certainly the smallest and the lightest of the single mounts. This is called our, our Atlas 30, and we kind of call it an Atlas 30 to, to indicate that it, in the 10 case, 10 pounds, 10 to 20 is fine. In this case, um, the slider would carry 30 pounds quite comfortably. In a pinch, it kind of depends on how much of a run because we have different lengths. Uh, the other one you saw um, was, was uh, basically will fit into a suitcase on an angle. This one we sell up to four feet. Uh, three feet is typical, four feet. We have people using it at five feet, but it starts to get a little bendy because they're five, eight rods. And we're going to show you the Atlas 200, which is quite comfortable with a weight of 200 pounds, um, which uses much larger rods and you can load up. The great thing about this slider is, and it's one of our favorite with the professionals, is you can just see how low resistance the movement is. And one of the cool things, even though you look at the, the chrome steel rods, but the bearings are sealed and there's bearing pods at four corners, really highly precision machine. What we found from our professional shooters is they can beat the living daylights out of this and it's still awesome in terms of smoothness. The bearings are sealed at both ends, so if you actually were to throw sand on this, it wouldn't be any problem. If you did that to one of the open bed sliders, um, like this one, which is a five foot, uh, basically an Atlas 10 uh, variant, um, you're gonna have an issue. This one, blowing sand, dirt, whatever, it's always gonna be smooth. We even had a still motion shot with it in chlorine, in a chlorine swimming pool, basically. And strangely said it worked better after, because I thought for sure it would be the end of it. But these things, uh, they have some units to go back three or four years. Still motion flies all over the planet. Uh, they're up for five Emmy Awards. So they, of anyone that I could think of, have really field tested this unit. So it's kind of like if you were a professional shooter and you needed, like Patrick did one of, the, uh, one of his shoots uh, during the uh, post Super Bowl with the Saints. Uh, he was on the White House lawn, he's Canadian, um, which isn't great, I guess, if you're around the Secret Service and you're trying to get video. But they dropped it down to the White House lawn, got the shot. Secret Service came in, they had the shot. So this is the this is the you know drop on the ground and get it right every time slider. The downside is that it doesn't center mount, right? So it does. Uh, we do have. Uh, the best way, I, I, I like to mount this with a 100 millimeter bowl or a 70, 75 millimeter ball, sorry, directly onto a set of sticks. And that gives you a lot of flexibility. You got two sets of sticks, great support. You can angle it. Um, if you do angle it, and we have a bowl, a 100 millimeter bowl here, so you can drop your tripod head right into it. But you can see with a little bit of gravity, you can sort of simulate a motion control system by just letting gravity basically do the shot for you. If you saw the FLT, the 10 FLT, which is, it, it basically is a very similar concept. Um, it has a, a, a larger, heavier duty bed. Um, you, could, you could ride this slider and it would be just fine. Um, in other words, we could put you on here and slide you across and it would be perfect. So um, we don't, you can give a weight limit to this. It really doesn't make sense to do it. Um, it doesn't have a hundred millimeter uh, bowl integrated, so it's well suited to heads that would mount to a three eighths. And, and in a rental outfit, you'd probably have that all set up anyway. So um, so this would, would comfortably take uh, pretty much any camera that you would throw at it. Um, Great. So it was a request uh, from the rental shop market, basically, to provide a longer slider uh, that still had the properties of the Atlas 10. The leg system, um, we call them the all-terrain legs. You'll see many variants of it. 
from uh, inspired other manufacturers, but um, it's basically a real simple, super strong lake system. So if you wanted to put this on a pile of rocks, you could do it. You could adjust the legs and level the unit, and uh, it's just designed to be really rapidly uh, deployed. So the legs, you could you could also stand on this and probably jump. They're you know it's all anodized uh, 6061 aluminum, very strong. And the way they're set up, their default setting is sort of like perfectly flat. And then for anything else, they're they're easy to adjust. It's really important to note that the uh, the balls that we use were developed. They're anti-marking and they're non-skid. So if you drag it across the table, you're not going to get a black mark or hopefully scratch it at all. Um, and they're also adjustable. They have threads on them, so if you need that fine bit of adjustment, you got it. So this uh, you know can be center mounted, but obviously if you're going with a heavy camera over here, you really want to be careful with the, how you're loading it. Um, a nice alternative for this is if you are center mounting it, to throw a C stand in one of the five eight slots at the end, and then you can support it basically at two ends, you know, and add some weight, which gives you a pretty stable rig. Well, this is. Uh, our response to requests to carry really heavy cameras. So uh, we call it the 200. In the, in the commercial that we first shot, um, and I, I will admit that I am over 200 pounds, uh, but I wrote it with a glass of wine, and I can tell you that it's, it's as smooth as, uh, with 200 pounds as it is right now, and also has the same sealed battery cartridges um, that you saw in the 30. So again, you could literally throw sand on here, and the seals would just kind of scrape it off. So. Um, and you can see again, it's very, very smooth, um, and it stays that way as you load it up. So you know, you're saying for any camera, Alexa or otherwise. Um, the cool thing about this, especially for that market, is that we have a hundred millimeter bowl here, and then if you take this off, we have this this part called the anti-hemi that turns this into a hundred and fifty millimeter bowl variant. And then we also just, um, and you won't see it on anywhere yet. Uh, we just. Uh, finalize the design for a Mitchell base for this. So you can put like a, an O'Connor or a big heavy head on this. So essentially you can put, um, you know, a, a serious big head and a full on cinema camera. And on this, this is a four footer, but you said it comes in different lengths. Five and six. You can see an example of where we just put these, uh, these are really strong carbon fiber legs and they're put right into our plate. There's also a 5 eighths um, receptor here for grip. And so if you flip the rod, you can drop this right onto a C stand. And also, I mean, we just have the plate here with quarter 20 and 3 eighths mounts. So you can do sticks, you can do a ball onto sticks, uh, you can do a couple C-stands, apple boxes, of course, the all-terrain legs, super strong, same features as we talked about over there. So that's a 200, that's pretty much our lineup of sliders. Awesome, we're very excited to carry this in rentals. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome.